Christmas is a time of great joy, a time when we can unite with family and friends to celebrate each other and our Christian faith. As Belizeans, we celebrate the marvelous birth of the Christ child over 2,000 years ago. His purpose on earth was to ensure the deliverance of humankind. His sacrifice brought hope to the entire world and gave us the opportunity to seek eternal life. It is with great pride and joy that I greet you at this festive time of the year to bring a short message of my ministry's accomplishment. This past year has been fast-paced. It has also been a year in which we have made great strides as custodians for the development of tourism and culture in Belize. My ministry continues to have a strong commitment to being of service and we hold steadfast our fundamental responsibilities of providing quality and equitable service to those that depend on us. It was this overarching mandate that I am pleased to share with you a few of my ministry's accomplishment in 2013. Up to the November of this year, we have seen a 7.1 overall increase in overnight arrivals and a 6.7 increase on cruise arrivals compared to 2012. This percentage increase is way above global standards. The World Travel and Tourism Council reported only 3.1 growth overnight arrivals worldwide in 2013. This is a result of the industry's collective effort and therefore, as we continue to work closely together, we are well poised to continue seeing a growth in 2014. Last year, I was glad to announce that in October of 2012, the Ministry of Tourism and Culture had taken a pioneer step when we received the Cabinet's official endorsement of the first ever National Tourism Master Plan. Our implementation of the Master Plan will continue to evolve. It is our intention to have a dedicated unit to assist in coordinating the implementation phase across other subsectors of our local economy. This year, we also work on yet another milestone we are at the moment finalizing the development of the country's first national cultural policy that will not only provide a national medium for the protection, promotion, and development of culture and its various facets, but will also call for an integrated and responsible approach to the development of a diversified cultural economy. We look forward to this in 2014, and we hope that all of you will join us to celebrate this important accomplishment at the onset. My ministry in partnership with btb &H, was also able to successfully source grant assistance from the European Union in the tune of 4 million Belize for our newest project, making tourism benefit communities adjacent to archaeological sites. I am happy to report that the project has already celebrated key milestones that will assist in improving our health and safety standards at archaeological parks and enhancing the economic opportunities for Belizeans living in rural communities adjacent to the sites. As we move forward, we are also about to close a project that has been the pride and joy of the wider ministry. The Sustainable Tourism Program comes to an end this month and will mark the completion of a U.S. $13 million investment for tourism in Belize. The impact of this program will remain present for many years to come. With tangible infrastructural and public space improvement around the country, the industry is already seeing a more integrated local and visitor experience. In connection with this, the Border Management Agency is also currently partnering with the Sustainable Tourism Program and the San Pedro Town Council to establish a formal border point facility in San Pedro Town. This will enhance even more so the current urban infrastructural works that are being carried out at the Saca Chispas grounds in San Pedro. In 2014, the momentum of the Sustainable Tourism Program continues as the Belize City House of Culture and Dongtong Rejuvenation Program is expected to come on stream with funding from the Taiwan International Cooperation Development Fund. Last but not least, I would like to thank each and every one of you in my constituency for your patience and understanding as we continue the work 
that sometimes may cause inconveniences to your daily lives. We are committed to improving the lives of everyone in San Pedro and Kikarker and all Belizeans across the country. As such, we will continue the infrastructural works that is so vital to providing a better quality of life for Belizeans and for improving the accessibility and quality of Belize tourism products to those who wish to visit this jewel of ours. May God bless us all and may God continue to bless Belize. May you and your families enjoy a happy and safe Christmas season and a prosperous and productive new year. I thank you. <music>